Hey guys, I'm Natalie. This is the Least Favorite Podcast, where we talk about relationships, personal growth, and the toxic shit that we see on social media. Let's get into it. I dated somebody like this. Mm -hmm. And I was like paying a lot. Mm -hmm. And I don't like that shit. Mm -hmm. I don't like that shit. I cut that shit off very, very soon. Like extremely soon. So like if y'all went out like you were saying? Yeah, he was like, oh, like you got it, right? Like you got money. And I'm like, first of all, can I just say, I woke up, I got home at 3.30. No, I got home at 2.30. Took a shower. By the time I went to sleep, it was 3.30. Still woke up at 7.30. That is so annoying. Oh, that's why I hate going out because I do the same shit. Anytime I go out and I could drink, bro. I can drink I know, all can drink. night, like, and mm. get home three, four in the morning. I'll be wake up at the fucking crack of dawn. Yeah, crack of dawn. And I'll be like, it's annoying as fuck. I can't get a day like where I could just wake up at. And you have like, you have, bla- you have blackout well. curtains. Hell yeah, I have blackout curtains. I, I, so it's not just because I thought it was because I don't have curtains. No, in well, my room. You, sleeping in this room, I don't know how you do it because, because it's so bright in your bedroom. Yo, I fucking hung up sheets like the dark, dark sheets. I you had need to, to get the fucking rods, pills. the curtain rods, and put something. those blackout curtains. Anyway, let's Cur- fucking introduce. Let's do this. Put the wrong song. Yes. Yeah. Like always. Nah, we're gonna restart that. We're gonna restart this intro. We are not about to. You about to press the same damn button again? No, I wasn't. You look like it. This is how you started, and it was Biggie's birthday yesterday. Holla. Yeah. All right, um, so I kind of wanted to get started. Mm. Let's just dive right in, okay? Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, so one thing I wanted to ask you, do you think that it's, uh, I guess, appropriate to teach your children how to date? And the reason why I asked, wait, before you go, is because there was a video of this mom who was teaching her son how to date. Like, basically, I think it was like buying flowers, making reservations, paying for the paying for the meal, and even giving a tip, right? And so... People reacted to the video like, oh, that's inappropriate, or like, that's the man's job, you shouldn't be doing that. Oh, you, she's oh she's shopping her son, or she's being a pick-me woman. And it's just like, I wanted to know, you as a man, like, how do you feel about a woman teaching her son how to date? Is that shopping her son? Is that the man's job? Like, Sounds like a responsible parent. Mm-hmm. Like... So you could tell who the fuck got no home training. It's <laughs> yeah, like yo. some of y'all need to teach yo. y'all children just the basics of life. Mm-hmm. Cause remember, I used to always say, "Yo, I when my, if I have a kid, mm-hmm. I'm gonna teach my kid how to drink and things like that." Wow, Anthony. No, 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 no. So what I why? mean, <laughs> no, because like what, what happens is when I was young, when I first drank. I was like, oh, let me get this jello shot here. Let mm-hmm. me get this beer oh, here. Yeah. Let me get this mm-hmm. with mixing and doing all this crazy shit to the point where I'm fucking puking my guts out because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Right. Because no one sh- taught me taught me yeah. how to like the basic like, yo, get a drink, drink your drink, mm-hmm. relax. You don't mix your drinks. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like just like simple things like that that like, you like have to experience on your own because mm-hmm. no one People feel it's taboo. Mm -hmm. Yo, if your child, if you're a parent, your child is turning 18 years old, they're going off to college, they're going to fucking drink. They're becoming a man or a woman. They these basic things like that's gonna happen. That's inevitable. Yeah, you should teach them about. Yeah. So teaching a woman, teaching her son how to one men, a lot of men now do not know how to. Call for a reservation. Fucking pre. They don't know how to schedule a reservation. And the sad part about it is, nowadays, everyone's on their fucking phone. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to make a phone call. You can make the reservations online. 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 In like two seconds. You can even cancel the reservation if you decide you don't want to go. Whatever you want to do. But nobody, okay, a side note on that, nobody wants to speak to anybody. You don't (laughs) have to. I know, but I'm saying, like, sometimes you have to, like, call. Some places you do have to call. Some or do. you do have to call to cancel. Like, you can't cancel on the app. People just really don't want to fucking... They don't. Speak, and no, like, interaction. <clears throat> yeah, but then sometimes a lot of a lot of dudes just don't know, like, yo, no, Friday... N- this is the thing, like, Friday night... Let's say that. Let's talk about that. Friday night. Yeah. Maybe, like, Valentine's Day weekend. Yeah. <clears throat> where everyone is going to go out with their woman, right? 
you have some dudes that'll just be like, oh, I, I wouldn't go here kind mm-hmm. of thing. We're just going to show up. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's like, you can't get a table or it's crowded. <laughs> They're not even letting people in. Like, like, you did no research. Nothing planned. Nothing planned. Where are you going? Yo, lack of planning is such a turn off. It's like, yo, what? You, you're trying to plan a, a, a special, um, special event for someone. And you're not taking anything else into account. Mm-hmm. Like maybe that, maybe maybe your girl's birthday is on Mother's Day weekend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you think you're just going out to get yeah. a fucking taking her to dinner yeah, without yeah, yeah. fucking reservations? Mm-hmm. So yes, a mother or a father. I mean, yes, it should be a father should be there. But, but if, what if the exactly. father's not there? My father it's was in there. jail the first 21 years of my life. <laughs> he ain't teach me nothing about life. Mm-hmm. Zero. So anything I learned about like respecting women or just anything came from my mom. Yeah. But you see, okay, which you, you brought up such a good point because I dated someone who felt like he couldn't do so many reasons. And we're going to tackle these. One, he felt like because he never saw it in his household that he was incapable of doing it now. But I would be like, but you're able to acknowledge the fact that there is a difference that you do notice that you didn't see it growing up. So why can't you make the change or put the effort in to do it? Like instead, people would just rather stay like that. Like, fuck it, I didn't see it. This is all I know. I don't need to be better. Like, I'm fine. <clears throat> Everything's fine the way it is. But it's like, what the fuck? See, and that, because I'm, I'm that way. I didn't see like, like, you know, saying like, I love you and like all these type of things. I didn't see all that stuff growing up and I didn't have it. However, those type of things are just like, um like a natural feeling that just you kind of just say like to, in mm-hmm. a relationship where it's like just because you didn't see your parents do reservations but if you're dating someone now and you know like and you know that that's, that's what dating like simple. is yeah i feel like it's just kind of it's just inconsiderate and you probably aren't really do you feel like they're not really into the relationship then no it's you just know you always say like if a guy wants to he would but like if a guy really doesn't have <clears throat> i guess the tools or knows what to do no some people just have no fucking clue there's a lot of dudes that are just I was having a conversation with someone like yesterday or like on IG. We were talking about like podcast type of shit and like yeah. topics. Yeah. And she was like, she hates dating like younger guys. And I'm like, Oh my God, yes. Because women generally date older guys, more older guys are generally more mature. Yeah. But when like say I'm 37 now, when I was 27, I was yeah. that young, immature dude that right. did nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm better. I can fucking make a plan and and, and that's why we date older guys. You, you know have what the saying? experience. Or maybe so like, like enough women you dealt with probably bitched enough that you probably weren't. But into. Also, maybe not you, but I'm saying. I, like, and I, I, I firmly believe this. Like, so I can say honestly, even though if I even be like, yo, my ex was crazy or something like that. Yeah. But I learned something from every, every relationship. Every relationship yeah, I, I date with, I've been with. So making calling to make a reservation is something that I did when I was young. Simple. I got that from like my ex girl. She was you should do this or like you know what certain things like yeah that's mm-hmm. just a part of being a fucking adult like you know yeah. what i mean but also, like you should should no no but also i got i've gotten like uh what's the excuse oh i don't want to seem like i'm thirsty i don't want to overextend myself and date you and like put so much effort into the relationship like even like buying flowers it's like oh like i've never done it for any other girl like i don't want to get you used to that see that's and another, it's like what that's but we're tool. together you like me i like you why are you worried about like who has the upper hand here i don't want to look weak i don't want to look like you got me like got me like that yeah dudes what's be, the word it, like sprung basically it's like bro who gives a fuck who gives a fuck and that's the thing it's like yo, why are you worried about that's childish though because it's young guys that say shit like that it's like who kills older fuck? men they don't speak like that it ever don't... they don't even bring dumb shit like that up it just doesn't even make like they actively show interest that's what you know effort. that's what i love about like my friends my friend group even though we like have the craziest debates and arguments over right. shit but when it comes to like yo say like if my best friend's like yo i'm going out i'm taking my wife out um the week and I got us like couples massages or like something like yeah. that. It's never like, oh, she got you sprung. Yeah, it's, it's like, like cool. yo, that's dope. Let us know how it is. We can take our girls. It's our always wives. like, yeah. yo, oh, I got, I'm doing this. Where are we doing it? But that's grown man shit. It's like, yo, how is that like? But it's always been that way. We never looked at each other like, oh, she, she blah, blah. Where do guys get that shit from? I don't get it because I don't know. Is that a Bronx thing? Because <laughs> it is a, it's a, it like, is a, it's a, a um. 
It's a cultural thing now. Not for it everybody. It kind of is, but you know what? I always, f- like, that's little dick energy. Little dick energy. Like, that's little dick energy again. Okay. It's like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Or they just insecure about something because why, why, first of all, you worrying about how someone's perceiving you. Yeah. So you super, super insecure right now. Like, you got to chill with that shit. Mm-hmm. Um, but let me go back to the topic real quick. Yeah. <laughs> because I do feel like that woman that's teaching her son these things, that's great. You should. Who are you shopping your kid to? Is, are you now? Are you in the fucking playgrounds, like trying to like yeah, scout and recruit? I don't think that that's what she was kids. doing. She's just teaching her child, like, yo, when you get to the age of dating, this is how you should do. You should treat a woman with respect, make a plan, take her there, pay for it. When you tip, don't be a fucking cheap ass right. and don't give no tip. What is it? Twenty percent. 15, 20%? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, a, I'm actually a very good tipper. You're a very good tipper. Like, I can vouch. That's why, sometimes, to yeah, that's why sometimes I don't even like going out because I'm like, yo, I got a fucking tip. Like, I be tipping <laughs> way too much sometimes. This shit be crazy. Yeah. It'd be like a fucking $20, $20 tab and I'm fucking giving them like a $20 Something, tip. Well, two points I want to make and then I want to move on. Um, and we can talk about this is that as much as we can teach our sons to date women or court women, I think we should also teach our daughters <laughs> How to reciprocate? No, how to receive first, how to reciprocate it, and also aside from like um, how, how to treat men overall. And also how to, uh, you know what? How to express when like you're not being treated the way you should be treated mm. or like, listen, mm-hmm. <clears throat> women, men, if a man's gonna take you out, yes, he should plan it. Or you guys plan it however you, you feel comfortable with. But if you need, if you want something like, yo, you know what? I would love it one day if you bought me flowers, right? <laughs> My ex wanted candles for ever. <laughs> hey, you're annoying. I got candles like dinners though. You had, can- yeah, you but you're not a candle guy. But I got candles. You didn't really get candles. See, see, you see. Semantics. The candles were already on the table. But you wanted a candle like dinner. Yeah, but you didn't even know that the place had candles. You you looked down and you were like, oh, look, there's a candle. It's and I was multiple like. multiple times because I planned it that no, way. You, Anthony. I'm always on Yelp looking at food. You're looking at, okay, well, you know what? The effort was there. And you know what? I appreciated it. Maybe you didn't light those candles yourself, but the fact that you ensured that there was a candle on that table speaks volumes. Exactly. So you know what? <clears throat> but the point is. Wait. No, well, the point is. No, 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 because that wasn't the point about the oh, point no. about giving me flowers. Oh, okay, the point was about the woman expressing what she wanted. Yes, and also, and a, I want you to make the point of difficult women too when you're planning a date because it's not oh, always the guy's be, fault. All right, go. No, make that point. Oh, that's that's the next point. Oh, so you want me to talk about like how? Because yeah, you were saying there are times right. where it's like you know what the guy is trying. Like I'm like all right. I don't know. Maybe we're in a relationship. We're in a talking stage or something. Whatever the case is, and it's like, all right, cool. Are you available Friday, Saturday? Because people are busy. Sometimes you can't just always be like, "Yo, Friday, I'm gonna take you." Because yeah. I've done that too. I'm like, "Yo, yeah, Friday yeah. night, I'm a," and it's like, "Oh, I can't that Friday," or "I can't," and it's like, "All right, well, just let me know when you're available," kind of thing. Whatever. Or then it's like, wait, I don't want. Oh, I don't like this. And it's like, I, I don't hate, like this kind what, of food. What, what kind of annoys food. me is like, yo, all right, I'm gonna take you out. Yeah. And it's like, where are we going? Just just be ready. Just be we ready. I fuck. Do you have fucking food allergies? If you have no food allergies, just be ready, yo. Okay. Like that's it. Just okay. be ready. Cause I'm taking care of everything. Yeah, I would say that. I'm paying for it. I'm driving. I'm picking the place out. Just be ready. It be the women, oh God, not all women, but it be the women who like complain that they never get taken out, but they're the most difficult to it's take like, out. Bruh. They always, first of all, they be stank as fuck. They always have an attitude. They have a sense of entitlement. Like, oh, but you should have taken me to this type of restaurant. And it's like, yo, you complain that you don't got nobody putting effort in you. And then somebody puts an effort. It may not be to your standards, but at least he's fucking trying. And then it's a conversation, maybe. That's what you were saying. Learn how to communicate what it is that we want. That's in a respectful I'm, way where you're not emasculating the correct. man either because like, he's trying like if I'm like if we talk about you want to go somewhere right now you want to get some from food or whatever say you want Italian I take you to a fucking Italian yeah. restaurant yeah and then it's like oh but why do we go here why didn't we go 
to this so, Italian restaurant why that's why like, like one, Carmine's or some shit, whatever. Carbones or some shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, but why? Because I know this one. This is a very good Italian yeah. spot. Like, and it's different. And we it's never like, been here. We've never whatever. been here. Oh, but we could have went to this one on the wall. But it's like, yo, you didn't even Or express. they go to the restaurant and then they're complaining about the food. Like, everything is an issue. Oh, the butter is too hard. Oh, I don't like my drink. Well, my dick ain't hard no more. Oh, either, my, so it's sudden oh hard in this God, motherfucker. Anyway. Yeah, so we need to teach our daughters that. <laughs> but, so, so what I was going to say to this, right? I'm going to look into the camera for this one. Because this oh, shit, shit. So this is why I said I might be pissed people off. I'm just going to take a sip. Because, and you know this about me. <clears throat> uh, this applies to young boys and young girls. For all the parents out there. And you know this about me. Your child is not a fucking princess, mm. a prince, mm. a king, or a queen. Mm. Your kid is not. I fucking will never in my life call your child any of that shit. I don't care if it's like my best friends that be calling their kids this shit. Your kid is not. Stop treating your kid like they're a fucking princess or a prince. They're going to grow up fucking thinking that the world revolves around them. And it doesn't. Like, it fucking doesn't. And that's what happens. Like, these fucking little kids, they grow up thinking that... Mommy and daddy gun gave them everything in their life, calling them princess and prince. Mm. They're not. Mm-hmm. And I'll let a, a woman know. And I almost said, right. I'll let a bitch know. Like, no, you not. Like, I'm not fucking, you're not going to be acting all self entitled with me. Right. Because I'm going to shut that shit down super yeah. quick. So yeah. that's why I hate, I hate that shit when people are like, oh, my king, my, your kid ain't no fucking king or queen. I don't subscribe to that shit. I hate that shit with a passion. Like, mm. I hate that shit. Your kid is not this. Fuck your kids. For that. I would say I mean, it's like so what you what said. Like, remember last episode, or well, one of the episodes, you were like, y'all want to act like royalty, or y'all want to be treated like royalty, but you yeah. act like peasants. And it's true. It's more important that we teach them how to just be good people. Teach just them how to be, be a royalty. good fucking person. And that's it. That's exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, that's great. So that's why that's why how it feels like, yo, people want to, you want to, you want to raise this fucking kid the whole life, get them everything they want. Mm-hmm. Yes, your child should have a better life than you, but don't mean that you got to fucking spoil them to the point where they don't know how to be a decent human being. So when they get older and they're at now they're out of your house and they're engaging with other people, they don't yeah. know how to fucking act because they've been yeah. treated like yeah. I think they overall, can't do right. Overall, just to like put a button in this or like wrap it up, I would say when it comes to dating, The moral of the story is like, you can lead a horse to water because we can teach our children whatever the hell we want to teach them, right? And we can, even like in our own relationships, if the guy is doing all the planning or what, oh no, if the guy isn't doing the planning and the woman has to keep on like, but why don't you do this? Okay, I'm going to teach you how to make a reservation. Oh, we should go here, always initiating, but the man isn't doing it. It's like, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. And this leads into a whole other topic, okay? So this topic, First, I'm going to start with a little story, right? Story time. So I was on the phone with one of my friends, right? And she she runs a business. I'm going to give too much detail. She runs a business and she works with other people. It is important in her business that everybody works just as hard as she does, right? Of course. And part the big part of her job is marketing, posting on social media. And she goes hard, posting every fucking day, posting, posting, posting. And she notices that her work, coworkers, they aren't, they're not doing it. They're not posting, they're not even telling people about it. And she has to always have like these meetings with them to talk about how they can be better, what work they need to do, and she's frustrated. And I'm like, well, you're frustrated because it's like, one, we always see this shit on Instagram, but it's so true. Like, let people do what they wanna do so you would see what they would rather do. It's like, she gave she ended up working with someone briefly and that person put more effort and work naturally like she didn't even have to tell them anything so i'm like wouldn't it be better if you had that person times 10 and you wouldn't have to have all these fucking weekly meetings trying to get people on your level on the same page telling them what to do at this point you've been working with them long enough where they know what the fuck to do they just don't fucking want to do it and my my thing with this topic was this like we spend so many, so much time trying to like force people to see our vision, to see our dreams, to do this, to do that. Oh, but why can't they see? Why can't they just do it this way? Like, why is it so hard? And it's like, it's not that it's hard. They just don't fucking want to do it. Like, stop forcing it. A lot of y'all are forcing situations or or relationships with people and it's leaving you frustrated. It's leaving you stagnant. You can't move forward in what you want to do because you're trying to carry and bring everybody with you. Not everybody can go. Like, let go of that fucking dead weight. And you're going to see, like, how smooth things end up working for you. 
And I thought I thought about this because I was in a you know situation where I was forcing it, and once I let it go, I felt like I catapulted to like just being more focused. More things were coming to me. Like I just got rid of all that fucking negativity, and I don't know. I just wanted to put that out there. <laughs> like, well, yeah. I mean, obviously, you if you surround yourself by negative energy. Don't no matter how good you want it to become, mm-hmm. that is going to suck the life out of you. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. it don't matter how, you can't force a good thing. Like, it just has to happen. You can't force it. Good vibes are there. Yeah, the vibes are there. Like, it, and I just don't know why. I wanted to really get deep into, like, why we do that in the first place. Have you ever felt like you forced a situation, even a little bit? You so, don't really seem like you would have, but, like. No, I, I wouldn't. Um... Why would you force it? Because, well, this comes back to, like, you not wanting to be alone and things like that. Mm. So that's what it is. It's mm-hmm. like you're dealing with your own insecurities. Do you think it's, dealing, um, like, self-doubt? Maybe you're just afraid that. to do of it Of course. So that's what, so insecurities, fear, mm. you know, who, I mean, not everyone can handle being alone. They don't want that. So that's where it comes from. It's like, yo, I have all of this self-doubt. I don't believe I'm good enough. Um, so... I need I need to have someone that's going to just want me or just love me or like all of these type of things. Yeah. And it's like, if you're not confident in yourself, you're not going to find that in someone else with, with someone else. I also feel too like when I've ever like forced something, I'm so focused on like the like hard work that it takes to do that, that like I lose focus on what I'm really supposed to be focusing on. And working on, and also you know, because my mind is focused on you and what you're not doing and the potential you could be reaching. So, so then that's what happens. So now instead of, so you're forcing a situation, right? Yeah. You're forcing a situation with a guy that's not clearly different. Like he, it's not wrong with that he can be on his own level. That's where it's good for him. Right. But you're forcing a situation now instead of. Um, like just being able to live and just live life the way you want you're right. constantly thinking like damn i need i need this from him yeah but he's no he's not in a position to give you that and he never was in that position to give you that and it's he like, may never be in the position to and it's do like it. how are you looking for him to give you these things and it's, it's like, like that video i showed you yesterday so it's like yeah but that's that's why i always with me like it's i never I never needed a woman to make me feel complete or mm-hmm. like whole. They just added to my added. Life. They added value. Yeah, like that whole better half. I'm even questioning that phrase because yeah, no, it shouldn't stupid. be my better half. Yeah, that's dumb. I should be whole and you should be whole. Correct. And then we keep adding we to need each to, other. Correct. Yeah. So that's why I say it's like I, I'm good. Like I'm secure of myself. I don't have any of these doubts and insecurities. So when i'm able to date someone yeah it's just like yo you're bringing you're just adding value to a mm-hmm. great life that i already have mm-hmm. yeah you know yeah you're, you're adding more happiness to a happy person yeah you know it's in those situations where it's like you can't even be your best self because like you said you're just focused on the other person so it's like now whatever makes you charming whatever makes you funny and bubbly and positive you're depleted correct you're not even you anymore yep and then even those qualities that 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 person has, it just it wears thin. Mm-hmm. It yeah. becomes tired real quick. So like, oh, this person is really funny. It always makes me laugh. And those that same joke that he was making a couple months ago is not hitting the same anymore. It's not hitting. You know what I'm saying? You start looking at them. Maybe that person different. was like an amazing kisser mm-hmm. three months ago, but now it's like, oh, fuck. I don't want to kiss it's this like, person. Like all these <laughs> yeah. things, you just don't have that kind of yeah. spark and connection. So that's why it's like, yeah, you better have, yeah, someone could be your better half, I guess, but you can't be just half of a person. Yeah. You need to be whole. You need to be whole. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, I, I wanted to get into the. Oh <laughs> no, we good. You want to start? You sure? Yeah, we good. Okay, I wanted to get into the a light topic now. All right, let's do a little transition. That was a light topic. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna play the video. Hello. The following quotes are very triggering and alarming and can only be said by a man that is prepared to use you. We wanna be spoiled. We wanna be spoiled. So if these following quotes are leaving your mouth, there's an issue. You rich. You rich. First of all, I just met you. 
and you're talking about you rich because I said that I was going to go buy Balenciagas. I said I was going to go buy a new Chanel bag. I said I was going to go buy something. Now you rich. How about you buy it for me? You got it. Yeah, I do got it. And you, sir, what do you have? What do you have? You should not be saying that I got it. I think big money is the worst. That's how true it is. Big money? Stop. Shut up. Something about complimenting me about... So, <laughs> basically no. what she's saying is that it's basically when you're dating a guy and he just assumes that you have money, but it's not even an assumption. I'd be feeling like they just don't have it and they want to hype you up. They think that that's a way to hype you up where you're going to be like, oh yeah, big money, yeah, I got it. And then you end up buying it. I dated somebody like this. Mm. And I was like paying a lot. Mm. And I don't like that shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like that shit I cut that shit off Very very soon Like extremely soon So like If y'all went out Like you was paying Yeah he was like Oh like you got it right Like you got money And I'm like Wait 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 wait, wait, wait. I was like I what Rewind on this one real Yeah quick. So Alright Y'all went on a first date Yeah Who planned the date <laughs> He wanted to go out And I picked the place Okay, did he say, like, yo, <laughs> like, pick somewhere to go, or it was like... He didn't even know where to go. Bro, go to fucking Applebee's or some shit. Like, he didn't even know anything. where to go. Burger King, get coupons. I, where to go. I was like, no, I'm not doing this. Mm -mm. I'm not doing this. So, hold up. All right. Approximately how many times did y'all go out? Twice. And after that, I was like, no. You paid both times? Yeah. I think he paid... Well, the second <laughs> one was movies... So I think he paid for like the popcorn and stuff. Popcorn. You paid for soda. the tickets? Yeah. But it's like you already didn't pay on the first date. But I was like, okay, like I picked the where place. Where was the first date? I'm not gonna say where. I'm not gonna say where. Please. No, I'm not. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Is that like is it embarrassing? No, I'm just not gonna say where. Okay. Is it was it, a nice place. That's that's kind of what I wanted to know. Yeah, is yeah, it was a nice place. Right. It wasn't expensive though. <clears throat> If you had to say five stars, no, restaurant. like three, three. Okay, so average, it was a chill spot. Average kind of cost wise, mm -hmm. which is why I didn't mind paying because it was a chill spot and we were we knew each other. Like okay. this wasn't like a blind date or anything. <clears throat> so I was like, all right, whatever. Like I picked the place, fine. But then the second day, I'm like, you didn't even pay. Like I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. It was over. No, it was like let's just be friends. It was giving friendship. It was giving friendship and i've paid for my friends in other areas hmm. you know what i mean like if we go out and like i go and get food or i get a drink at the bar i'll buy the drinks bring it like that's not that's, a big deal so for like, me it was like fuck it we're cool this isn't anything serious yeah. we're on like a day but like whatever fine but then the second time i'm like no damn like see i've gone out <clears throat> with like even friends like and it's like mm -hmm. all right yo here like did he even make he didn't even like say like let's go half no mm -mm. Mm -mm. Right. so you know yeah what? but the big money you trying to hide me up i don't like that shit why are you watching like to me is that pocket watching i feel like it is you see me with what like what makes you think that i have money what makes you think that i have money as i'm looking at my louis bag on the fucking couch <laughs> that was a treat it's not like my whole closet is designer it's not like I live in a fucking big ass house. Like, what are you? Or do you really think that I have money, or are you just saying it to hype me up so I can feel like, oh, I'm a boss bitch. I'm about to pay for this shit. Yeah. Cause I don't feel that way. <laughs> I don't feel that way. And at that point, if I was dating somebody and I'm always paying, I'm gonna just be like, right. So you're the bitch. Like you're my bitch. Like I'm the man here. And that shit is whack. I will not be the man in my relationship. I don't want to be the man in a relationship. I don't. I don't. That's crazy. All right. So, big money. <laughs> Damn. <clears throat> so, first things first, I, I need a, a movie night. I need you to buy me some movie tickets and um, some cop popcorn as well. I treated you on many dates, so we're not going to do that. Oh, we're going to do that? Because we could go there. We can go there. We can, we can, we can. I'm with it. Turn it, turn it I'm fucking with it. Uh, we can go We're back not to gonna act. bank We're gonna history. get personal right now. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay. Nah. Um, what you no, I was say? gonna say 
Once we started, no, 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 no. I'm joking. No, no. No, but I want to wrap up my point because I don't want, also, I don't want it to put, I don't want to make it seem like you got to pay for every date because I'm not like that either. I'm reasonable. But the first couple times we go out, I feel like that's your time. You see, and I talk a lot of shit about gender roles. Nah, that's a man's time to shine. But that's a man's time to shine. Listen, it is a gender role. It is a social construct. But hey, here we are. It is. We all contradictions. Because there's certain things that I do. Like I said, I don't want to be the man in the relationship. So I do I do expect certain things. And as your woman, I know you expect certain things of me. And I don't mind fulfilling that as long as there's respect. Boundaries. Listen, there's definitely be like, just be a man. Like, be a man. Take control. Take control. Lead. <laughs> like, <laughs> Fucking lead. What like, is so hard about that? Listen, I'm... I'm not one of these new age niggas, like, like new for age. real. I'm not this whole like PC era bullshit. Like, mm-hmm. fuck that shit. Yeah, I'm we're not doing that. Pro man shit. Like, if you a man, be a fucking man. But you see, okay, oh. no, fuck no, that that's shit. That's great because yes, I agree with you. But they think they're men because they put women in their place, like in a in a dumb way. That ain't being a man. You know what I mean? Like, you can put a woman in her place by being a fucking man. Like taking, just take charge. Taking charge. Take charge. Carrying yourself the way you want the woman to treat you. Like a lot of y'all want women to treat you with so much respect, but y'all don't even, y'all have no self-respect. Y'all don't move like y'all even love yourselves. Y'all move like y'all don't even shower, wash your ass you this morning. Me? And you want to be treated like what? It's like, how, all right, now I'm not going to say no one's ever paid for me going out, but no. if I'm on like, like a first date. Yeah. So now there's... All right, at least, okay, now we're going out on a date for the first time. Maybe we started talking, however we met, we probably knew each other before. It's like, yo, I want to go out with you. So I like, I want to get to know you. I don't have it right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, you don't have it. Maybe you don't have the money, right? Mm, I don't, I don't have know, the money. because if you tell me you don't have it, oh, well, then the let money. me know when you do, and that's, then we'll, well schedule. Well, good. That's perfectly fine. I'm not about to... I, you if know what? Six, That's seven fine. Date, if it's our six, seven day and you like put after you paid, but that is I wouldn't fine mind. because now, like, I'm letting you know, like, yo, I just don't have it, right. like, right now, like, you know what I'm saying? And then I got now, you. Now, if you like, yo, you know what? I, I've known you for a while, like, we've been talking. Fuck it, I, I got it. Yeah. Cool. No problem with that. But to go out and now the bill comes and now I'm like looking at you, like, damn, yo, you big money. Yeah. Oh, you got it, right? You got it, right? Like, what? That to me, that's you're crazy. a bitch automatically. That's crazy. You're a fucking but see, bitch. you know what's the funny part about that? It's like <clears throat> you got dudes maybe like, oh, I'm like on my pimp shit. They were like, oh, I made this bitch pay, kind of thing. Like, oh, yeah. <clears throat> I got yeah, she, yeah. I'm she doing like she treat treat me take. And it's like, bruh, you ain't a pimp. You ain't she ain't out working for you getting money. You ain't no pimp. You're not a pimp. You feel me? And it's like, yo, so then you got dudes like that. Yo, how what's your longest relationship with someone? Like how what's the longest you dated like actually been with a female? Mm. Because you ain't you you definitely this woman don't want to be around you longer than one or two dates. One or two, you know what I'm saying? Like she ain't looking at you like respectfully. I'm not. I kind of yeah, I'm losing respect. You're like I said you're a bitch <laughs> to me. You're a bitch. And if that's something consistently that women are doing, it's like, for me, I look at them like, all right, I don't want to judge, right? Because we all tolerate shit. We really like somebody. And we've all been there. Like, I've been there too. So I'm not going to act like I haven't. But now, I'm like, my eyes are so open. And I'm kind of looking at the girl like, why are you dealing with that? Are you about to be... Like, you about to be so resentful and miserable and frustrated down the line? Yo, so if if I hit you up, right? I never met you. This is our first all interaction with each other. And I'm like, yo, damn, you're beautiful. I love your braids. I want to go out with Which you sometime. Which, by the way, last time I went out, I have so many compliments on my hair. It's fire. And it's like, yo, I want to go out with you, whatever, whatever, right? And we change them. We start talking. It's like, oh, okay, cool. Where do you want to go? Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I don't know. Okay. Know where to go. It's Fucking like, go on Instagram. Instagram got mad shit. Yelp. You can look up. Google. Yelp. Google. You live, especially if you Word live in New mouth. York. If you live in New York and don't know where to go, bruh, Come literally on. close your fucking eyes, point some shit out and Drive something. through the eyes, drive through the Bronx, you will find something. So it's Queens. like now, and I'm like, yo, I don't know where to go. Oh, but I I, I can't pay right now. And it's like, I, I, no. it's like, are you even going to give me any kind of chance? No matter how good I look, even. No. And no. it's like, bruh, if no. you don't have it, like, 
again. I even also hate the guys that be like, yo, just come over. Like on a first day, I gotta go over. <clears throat> I don't want to go. First of all, I don't really know you like that to be going Correct. over. And to me, it, it's giving broke. It's giving you don't have money. You don't know where to go. And it's like, just come over. To me, the coming over is once we're kind of like we've established gotta, something. At least fourth or fifth time we meet up. All right, cool. No problem. And now First date, it's like, come over. All right, where do you live? Well, my parents. Nah. If somebody told me to live with their parents, I'm not going. I am not going. Sorry. First of all, I don't want anybody that lives with their parents. It's crazy at this point. You're not point. even on my on my radar. You it's tell like me you live crazy. at home. Fuck on my face. That's no shade. It's just not where I'm that's at like, in life. That's, like, that's how it should be. It's that's like, not where I'm at. You need to like, have your own place and your own car. Your own money. Your own money. Your own. And you're not begging for people like begging and looking for money to help pay with your bills and help. No, 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 no. Like, Financially stable and independent. I can't. That's what I'm There's saying. There's no way. There's absolutely. I would never go back to that. That shit is crazy. It's that's crazy. what I'm saying. Like, yo, you need someone to be on your level. On your fucking level. It's like, yo, how can you date someone equally that has yoked. nothing? <laughs> like, equally fucking yo. Now, or at least, you know what? Okay, you live with your parents. What are you? What's your plan here? Like, you know, what I'm we gotta figure. It's like, what's your plan? What's your plan? Because I want to bash up. Like, and do you have wanna, a time frame for this? Like, plan? Yeah. Or like, okay. Or do you have like some really nice good mm-hmm. job, and you maybe saving up to buy a home mm-hmm. or something? Okay, mm-hmm. cool. But if it's just like, nah, I'm just there and I'm just working my job. That's and you're just me. chilling. You're just fucking drinking every week and smoking hookah. And that's it. It's like, boom. <laughs> Walling. All right. And that's another thing. It's like, yo, okay, you want to take this 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 young lady out, but then you don't have money to pay for it, but then you out doing your own thing all the time. It's like, all right, well, what the fuck? Do you want right. to take this person out? Yeah. What do you want? Yo. Yeah. What, yo. what do you want? Just like... You know wrong. why? Because that's so true. It's like every time we link up, you just want me to come over. But you be out all the time. You be going to restaurants with your friends. You be at the bar. With, I don't go. I'm not going. You're not seeing me. <laughs> like, you're not seeing me. Oh, but when you're going to come through, I'm not. Not coming I'm through. I'm not coming through. Like, but how? Fuck, what do I look like? Like, what do I look like? Yo, how about, yo, so there, people don't understand. There are cheap dates. Cause some, it's, it's not Yo, even about spending the money. The sometimes. weather's nice now. If you need an idea, take your girl on a picnic somewhere and just get some sandwiches. She'll be happy as fuck. Y'all do know museums. Little, are, museums are free. Get right. Get a little fucking ten dollar bottle of sparkling wine. Make a little mimosa. Make you a outside. fucking make, out. Go get a sandwich from the you store. You don't have a little speaker. Y'all can play that shit outside. It's a vibe. It's effort. That's it. That's it's what. It, that's what it come down to. Like yeah. So it's like. And that'd be killing me. It's like, yo, you can't even prioritize. That's why, yo, I swear. And we were talking about it um, with Jar when he was like, yeah. do you think the dudes that's trick it, tricking fuck it up? But it's like level because like that ain't even tricking. Like you just taking effort to put like put some thought into planning something and spending a little bit of money. Yeah. Like, yo, you can you can have a great time with less than $20. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, you can. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and of course, it goes back to like we know other girls will probably be a little ungrateful and bratty, but then you just don't fuck with those bitches. That's what I'm saying. That's it. You There's, wouldn't even want to be with a girl who can't understand also, if you don't got but it. But even so, even like those that that type of women, yeah, she's still gonna have some kind of appreciation. Like, yo, you yeah. know what? He actually made some effort and yeah. it was thoughtful. Right. You feel me? It's like, yo, women just want to be thought about. Thought. Just don't <laughs> think about thoughtful. us. The fact that on a first date. You let the woman pay. That's tough. Bro, you, first of all. You don't like me. First, like, if you do that, you don't listen, like me. I, 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 you don't like me. If you're over the age of 25, you need to understand credit and get a credit card. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because if you want to take this woman out, even if you don't have the cash for it, you better charge that shit. Charge it. Put that shit in your credit card. I don't give a fuck. You don't got to go to fucking the, the number one steakhouse in New York City. Because no. that's probably out of your budget which is fine I have no problem with that be out of my budget sometimes too the but fuck I'm not rolling in the dough you can go somewhere there are so many nice bars that have great food mm. music and drinks yeah that is a great date yeah. night and you can just have a great time right walk yeah. through the city hold hands talk Bruh. sightsee that's romantic that's lit and that really doesn't cost any money. You could get even yeah. some fucking. I've had like, be, like experiences be, with people where like we got some nutcrackers in the city, we're just walking, talking. We hit up like some spots to eat, and like that was a date night, and it was fun as fuck. 
Great That's night. It. Simple. Effort. Bruh. That's it. Why are you Effort. telling her, yo, how about stop telling her to come over? Go pick her up. Mm-hmm. Pick her up, right? This I get you a cheap date right here. All right. <clears throat> you got Harlem Pier. Harlem you got Marina. La Marina. You got the Pier and Yonkers, where we live up here. You got mad water areas that you can just go. Mm-hmm. Pick her up. Get a couple drinks. Mm-hmm. Whatever the fuck y'all drink, don't matter. And just sit there and talk. Sit there and talk. Just talk. Actually get to know Roll her. Roll the fucking windows down. Chill for but a minute. But people can't talk. We spoke about this. But, and then what happens after that? Now she's like, now she's comfortable with you. Comfortable. Now come through. And you are, she's already in your car. And now it's like, okay, cool. Yeah, like, yeah, I want to continue this night. Like, it's a good vibe. I'll what go over. Doing? Let's continue this party. Let's continue this fucking party. Yo, like, you feel what I'm saying? for you, yo. It's like... You can just spit in the fucking... Honestly, when Speaking. you just to get to get to get like to get a girl, it's not hard. Just not hard. stay out of your own. Don't trip over your own fucking feet. Yeah. Hey, bro. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. A reservation is not that hard either, though. A reservation is so it's fucking not that easy. Hard. And I, if you're scared to make a reservation, go somewhere where you don't need a fucking reservation. Right? No. Do a little research. Do a little research. Go on. Yo, when you go on Google, all right. A bar. Say if you look up, um, oh fuck, we're shout out Tijuana nights, right? Well, Google Tijuana nights. Shout out to Tijuana's Big Moose Saturdays. That shit was lit last night. So we'll shout out Tijuana's, <laughs> right? So when you go to Google, it's gonna it's gonna have a uh, like a little graph that says peak hours or like when this is the most busy. Yeah. At the restaurant. So if you're, it says like 10 p.m. Friday night, the most busy time. All right, well, go on a fucking Thursday when that time is not busy. So now you don't have to worry about that reservation. You're going to get in. You're going to get in, yeah. You can look at things like that. So now I know I'm going to be able to get in, have a good time. Still going to get the same music and food and drinks, but I don't have to worry about the big crowd. And I don't have to worry about, like, maybe paying a cover charge to get in. Yeah. I'm just going to get in and have a good time. Also, you can just message the fucking spot on Instagram and they will tell you. A lot of these places you can just DM for the information. Like, yo, what's your busiest time? Oh, okay, cool. How much is it to get it? You can't ask a question. That's what it be. That's why I say, like, for me, lack of effort just lets that's me effort. know you're not into me. And then that's fine. But then this ties all the way back around to the first topic. Which was? When the woman is trying to teach her son how to become a man. Right. Because those, peop- those guys that are like that, no one's ever taught them how to no do things. No one's ever taught them. You know what I mean? And that's why I and say. And now you got you women need, looking at you like you're a bum. Because I was that guy when I was younger. Right. I didn't know. And I'm sure some girls were like, oh, look at this bum ass. Like, he not doing shit. I didn't know any better when I was 22, 23 years old. Like, I didn't know how to fucking make a reservation. I thought that, I thought that was for like business dudes or like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know a regular nigga like me from the fucking hood could make a fucking reservation. Right. But I was ignorant as fuck and I didn't understand that shit. Yeah. But it takes someone to just like tell you like, yo, no, you can make a fucking reservation. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be this person. You don't need to have a fucking track record with the restaurant. Yeah. Just call them up. Just call them up. Um, I don't want to do the next topic. So yeah. I want to, we're, we're ready. It's long enough. So I do just want to leave this here. So for next week, there's a topic I want to get into. And I'm just going to introduce it here. And if you guys are interested, I want you to join in and stay tuned for next week's episode. So something <laughs> that I was thinking about while I was showering the other day. I don't know why. We haven't like random thoughts in the shower. Um, does that happen to you too or no? <laughs> of course. I'll be in the shower for like an hour. I have hour. my best thoughts in the fucking shower. I'm telling you. Um, I was thinking like, I feel like if it's not by choice, a lot of people are single because they don't know how to fuck. And we're going to dissect that a little bit deeper next week. And I'm really curious to see what you think about that. So anyway, guys, if you like this episode, like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, hit us up on Instagram. Let us know what you want us to speak about here. And what else? Oh, also, thank you for all the... No, no, no. Okay, wait. Let me just say thank you for all the feedback that we get, that we've been getting for the past few weeks on, like, us. Because now, you know, we're not having guests as often. It's just me and you recording. We're still kind of getting used to recording with each other. We always had good conversations, but now having it, like, in, in front, front of, of camera. camera and microphone is, like, a little... Uh, it's a little weird. But um, I appreciate all the positive feedback. Um... I appreciate everyone that like even the negative feedback. Yo, know, I'll be having conversations now in my DMs. That's awesome. With people. That's awesome. About like, yo, so you, I talk we talked about it on the podcast. Yeah. I just be having conversations with people. And yeah. I'd be like, 
with multiple people. And it's like, yo, I appreciate every single one of y'all who does that. Some people are like, yo, you should talk about this or whatever. And I appreciate it because I'm definitely always going to say how I feel. And yeah. my opinion about things right. is not traditional. It's not what anyone else is going to think. But I'm going to just, because I don't care about offending anyone and hurting their feelings. Because I'm just going to live my You also my don't truth. really get your feelings hurt. I don't. Right. It's hard. It's very hard. Like I've, you know what I'm saying? Right. So... I'm just gonna be honest and like y'all can talk, y'all can hit me up about anything y'all feel like and just say Same. if you agree or disagree, that's fine. I so, don't care. My opinion ain't right. I'm it's not, just my opinion. I'm not as evolved as you are because I am very sensitive. Yeah. But I'm still open to the conversation. And when things trigger me, like when people say shit and triggers me. She sent it to me and be like, should I respond to this? How should I respond like, to this? Should I respond to this? Should I respond? Because I know I could be petty. And then it's like you could feel my emotion through what I'm writing. So it's like, all right, let me not. Like, you're the level-headed one, so I'm like, okay, how should I respond in a way where I'm in increasing engagement and opening up the conversation without being disrespectful, even though that person I felt was being disrespectful to me. But it is what it is. It's a learning curve. Either way, we're getting better and better every week, so just thank you for, like, sticking with us on the journey every and week feel free to message me even if you don't know me like that yeah, guy, also same. i don't care i don't I mind. love to have deep conversations like we can have a whole conversation through dm i have no issue just keep or, it respectful because i've yo it's crazy i've had more conversations with a few people than i've ever had same it. same same like even people with new that people, i would never think it's like yo and cool. i'm like oh first, first of all you watch i didn't even know you watched you and know? you have like a really good like really good insight I and really good it. feedback so it's like it's dope so thank you but um yes limit the characters to like <laughs> limit the characters <laughs> no it. not me i love reading so fucking Bruh, lay it on me i need like Whoa, pause. three three pause. sentences <laughs> max, yeah. Bro, yeah, so yeah, i can yeah. respond i can't i'm a good like when women argue with me and they send me a paragraph i'm an okay kind of guy yeah, you're definitely an okay kind or of guy. lol it's not even worth the paragraph like. it because <laughs> you ain't getting one in return all right anyway we out of here thank you guys peace out